Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and this is Altcoin Disrupt. Before we continue with this video, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Now, what exactly is Stator Labs? There's a few things we'll go through. The highlights of the project's operating mechanism, detailed information about the tokenomics, and how the development roadmap and team and strategies and partnerships are on schedule. So basically, we'll have a full in-depth video on Stator Labs. Now, Stator Labs is a staking project that helps users to simplify the staking process and provide the best return adjusted to risk of principle. Stator Labs aims to expand profit-making staking from conventional assets to derivatives. In the long run, Stator will become a DAO platform and developers' teams can build scalable staking solution. DAO simply mean a decentralized autonomous organization, and that will become a platform. Now, there's a few key highlights that we can go through on Stator Labs. Now, currently, as we speak, Stator Labs allow Terra staking on their platform. They have a few other coins that are coming to the platform for staking, such as Solana, Ethereum 2.0, and Cosmos. And I just think it's really fantastic that anyone can actually stake Solana because that's one of the best projects to stake right now as we speak. Now, to go for a few highlights on Stator, there is the node selection. Most delegators do not fully understand the complex performance metrics and risk of staking. So this is where the importance of node selection becomes extremely important. There's also performance monitoring and reauthorization. Authorizers monitor the performance of validators and they react to unsatisfactory performances. Once again, monitoring data, monitoring information, it actually built a better product over time. This is what helps us to build better products over time. It's, so it's actually quite fantastic. Now there's also reward. Delegators need to invest time and effort to track and monitor and distribute rewards to validators in most equitable manners. Now it doesn't stop there to be quite honest. How does Stator Labs solve these problem? Stator provides a stake in performance management platform for delegators as follow. Empower delegators. Delegators will make node selection decisions and liquidity pool based on their judgment. Additionally, improve UI and UX of delegators. That's the user experience and user interface. Customizable interface, products, and tools to ensure that performance, asset, and management, and related issues are resolved in the most cost-efficient way. Additionally, generate a return equivalent to stake and risk and liquidity of the stake and asset. That's due to provide an access to cross-chain lending platforms or prototype, liquidity stake and derivatives, gamify stake and pools. So it's actually really fantastic. Now we've got a few key information to go through, such as the key metrics, such as such as a few things that makes these such as a few things that make the Stator Lab token quite unique. It's a governance token and it's a utility token to be specific. There's also 150 million tokens. There's also 150 million tokens, and that's in total supply. Circulating supply is actually not publicly known at the moment because Stator is actually going through a token sale on Coinless. And this is actually really exciting because most of you will understand exactly what Coinless is. They allow people to, Coinless allows anyone to basically participate in new token sales, new cryptos that are coming to the market. Now, the important thing about Stator token is that it's actually available on the Terra platform which is probably why the Terra token is available to be staked natively and immediately. It does make a lot of sense. Now we're going to go through some of the information on Stator and its token cell, but let's just go on to the token allocation, the tokenomics essentially. Now, as for reward plus community farming, that's 40%. Teams and advisors, they get 17%. And decentralized autonomous organization managed funds is 15%, which means that this is huge for funding the project and for pushing the project to new boundaries and new possibilities, essentially building more on the ecosystem. Speaking of ecosystem, there's the Ecosystem Development Fund, an additional 15%. And here's where it gets excited for anyone who is interested in investing. Private sale investors, they get 13%. That's only for private sale investors though. 
Now in option one sell, there'll be 3 million tokens available to be purchased at $4.50. Now there is a lockup and release period. That's 40 days lockup followed by 20% release every month starting on or around March 8th. 2022 this year so we're actually super close to that now don't just go away yet because there's an additional token sell option two three million token sell and the price is three dollars and 33 cents and the lockup is three months lockup followed by 20 percent review followed by 20 percent release every two months starting on or around april 25 2022 now here's where it gets exciting for Stater. It's building native smart contracts across multiple chains, including Terra, Solana, Ethereum, Phantom, Hedera, and Polygon. These are some of my favorite blockchains, such as Polygon, Ethereum, Phantom as, as well, Solana, I absolutely love Solana, and Terra to be specific. Obviously it's natively built on Terra, and building an economy ecosystem to grow and develop solutions like yield redirections with rewards, liquid staking, launchpad, gaming, and much more. Stator module smart contracts are built so that third parties can leverage their components and make custom solutions. Now, obviously, because the token sale hasn't begun, that means that the token isn't available to the public yet. So if you go on CoinMarketCap and you type in Stator, obviously you get, you get a few information, basic information about what Stator Lab is, and you also get links to the website but that link doesn't seem to be working, not too sure why, but you can actually just Google Google Stator Labs and it will come up with a website. There's also a light paper that I do recommend checking out the light paper of any crypto you're interested in and read it for yourself. Try to understand the white paper, try to understand how does these white paper differ from say Bitcoin white paper or Ethereum white paper. Obviously this is a light paper, so it's basically a simplified version of the white paper in in the most simplest terms that I can explain that. Now on some additional information, Stator is building native smart contracts across multiple chains. Now with additional information, growing network participation, Stator has launched two staking products on Terra, simplified staking, stake pools, and liquid staking, Luna X. Since launching on November 23rd, 2021, these solutions have built significant tractions in Terra's DeFi ecosystem. That is 14,000 plus unique wallet staking. That's an additional 5.5 million lunar stake, that are the Terra Luna tokens, 1.1 million lunar on Luna X, Luna LP, and 35,000 plus strong community members. That's brilliant, so it's growing. Flexible architecture as stake in technology evolve, the Stator architecture allows flexibility to grow and incorporate new features. Expandability is woven into Stator's technical blueprint. With a system of highly interactive smart contracts, incorporating a new strategy or product feature would require minor changes in a specific independent contract. So I am looking forward to seeing more being announced by, by Stator, such as the ecosystem, such as the governance. Obviously we do have the light paper, so check it out for now. There's the list of partners, the list of supported blockchains, such as Solana Foundation and Near, and obviously native Terraform Labs. There's also the angel investors, and that takes you into more technical stuff. Now I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching until the end. I really do appreciate that. Leave a like, leave a comment. The question is, what will happen to this crypto? Will it be really important to the crypto ecosystem in the future? Only time will tell. So thank you for watching, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.